Good evening. Former volunteers with the U.S. Brig Niagara are reacting to the reality that the flagship won't sail at all this year or even be a boardable dockside attraction. Matt Mathias spoke to volunteers who have been pushing for action for months now. As news of the U.S. Brig Niagara's inactive status broke on Wednesday, people who volunteered on the flagship and have been petitioning for a public forum with the Pennsylvania Historical and Museum Society to get a grip on their plans for months are sounding off. In a statement given yesterday by PHMC officials, the status change was standard procedure before it goes to shipyard for maintenance and repairs. Former volunteers with hands-on experience refute that claim, saying the only time it's happened in recent memory was during the pandemic. Niagara wasn't able to operate, and that was under special Coast Guard rules that no longer exist. And those rules had already changed back in 2020. So now hearing that this is just a normal occurrence, when the only time we're aware of this happened in Niagara was due to COVID, I think that that's a huge stretch in that statement from PHMC. Back in February, we reported the first of what was expected to be many job postings for the Niagara, which was without a crew and a captain at the start of the year. It was a search for a shipwright, which as of April 30th, the posting was closed, according to the acting Western Division Chief of the PHMC, Tyler Gum. We asked if the position was filled or not, but the only response we received was, the posting period for the shipwright position has closed and we are moving into the next stage of the hiring process. So there's still no captain, still no crew. Um, they still have the cover on the ship and it's already May. Um, if they plan on taking the ship to shipyard, how's that going to happen? And now they cannot do deck tours. So our concerns keep growing. Both volunteers say that if you're concerned about the situation, to reach out to local legislators. The state of Pennsylvania owns Niagara, so if you're a taxpayer, you own Niagara and you deserve to know what's going on with her instead of hearing things after the fact. I think if we continue to let them know that this is important to us, that um, eventually it'll sink in. Matt Mathias, Fox 66 News.